What up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach, and in today's video, we're discussing the question of how to capitalize a string in Python. And in fact, I'm actually gonna give you two ways that you can actually capitalize strings. So, without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What up everybody, like I mentioned, today's video, I'm giving you two ways that you can use to capitalize strings in Python. And most of the time, you'll probably use method number two, and we'll get to that here in a second. Um, but I'm showing method number one because there is a time and a place that you might use this method, um, and maybe a little bit different than I'm gonna show today, but you'll basically use the, the, the basics of this method. And if you follow my last couple of videos, I've talked about lowercasing strings and uppercasing strings, and I've used these two variables, surprise string and wacky string. Well, um, if we print this out, like you can see, they're in a different case right now, so that's those are the two variables that we're gonna work with. So in method number one, essentially what you're gonna do is we're gonna use our lowercase string function, because when you say capitalize, I'm thinking of capitalize and the way that Python thinks of capitalizing is basically every character in a string is lowercase um, except the first character and that first character will be upper, uppercase um, and some people may think that capitalizing is just capitalizing just the first letter but in this case it's lowercasing the whole string except for the first letter and so that's what we do we take our current string and we assign it to a new string we get a new string that's just the lowercase version of that string and then because strings cannot be is use uh, or essentially because strings cannot assign values to by index like this, what you have to do is you have to index the value and you have to create like a new string essentially out of our lowercase string saying that, hey, I can take the index of it and I can uppercase that and then I can concatenate or join the two strings of the rest of the string. So for instance, what that means is I'm gonna lowercase this whole thing and then I'm gonna take this first value, I'm gonna uppercase it and then I'm going to combine this uppercase value with the rest of the string that's already lowercase. So if we run this, um, we'll uncomment this, what you'll see is that for both strings, Rings. I, so so there's the original surprise. I lowercase everything and then I uppercase that first one and combine it all back together. So um, there's, that's the capitalized version of that string and then the same thing here with the other one. And that's essentially method number one. And why you might use this is because sometimes you may not want to necessarily lower this. You may just want to, um, for instance, if I comment that out and make this lowercase, you may just want to uppercase just, make sure that just the first character is uppercase, uppercase and everything else is the same. And now if I run this, I'm gonna end up with my still same uppercase values as in the original string, but now we made sure that also the first character is uppercase. So that's why you might use this method before and that's how you uppercase is just the first letter um, in Python. Um, but if you're gonna go for straight up capitalizing, you'll essentially just do what we showed here, where you're gonna lowercase and then lowercase everything and then get just uppercase the first method. So, or the first, the rest of the string. So that's method number one. So let's talk about method number two. Hey, I just wanna jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. All right, so method number two is actually really, really simple. And that's because just like I talked about some of my previous videos with like the uppercase and lowercasing of strings, um, Python actually has a function just called straight up capitalize. And if you run capitalize, what happens is, as you can see here, it basically is gonna do all this stuff here, but all within this internal function. And so when I run method number two, we end up with the exact same stuff where our original, so if I show this right here, we just called capitalize, our original string had all these different things and method number two, that one function call will lowercase everything and make sure that the first character is capitalized for us in this uppercase position. And essentially that's that's how, that's probably the method that you'll use most of the time. That's what I use most of the time. There's very rare occasions where I do this one, but if I just need to capitalize the string, like, hey, this is the beginning of the sentence, I wanna make sure it's capitalized, I just call this function on you know that word in that sentence um, or on that string or whatever. Um, and this will basically capitalize that, that string, whatever you pass it in. Now, if this was a full sentence, um, we'll do that and I try this again. What, you, what you'll see is it only is going to capitalize at the very beginning of, this, of, the, of the string, just the string, not a specific word in a string. It's just capitalizing just the string. And so that's just one thing to watch out for is, is you have to make sure you're passing it just a, you know, one string. If you need, if you need to do multiple you know, string, uh, multiple words in a string, you may have to just, you know, split that into a list and then loop through that list and capitalize each thing and concatenate everything back together. But essentially, that's how you capitalize a string in Python. So if this video is providing you value, please hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Let's keep learning about Python, software development. And until next time, keep on coding.